That hashtag show. That hashtag show, yes, sir. Um, this might be a very obvious question, so apologies, but what is it about the current state of the world that makes this show feel like the opportune time to release it? These are anxious times. Everybody is anxious about various things. So apparently when things are anxious, people watch disaster movies. Mm. You might think when people are anxious, they would watch comedies, rom-coms, but that's not human nature. When things are weird, people watch movies that uh, have the end of the world. So we made six disaster movies. That's right, six episodes of a disaster that could happen. And our friend here gets to take us through the disasters and perish in every single episode. I get killed in every show. Oh, no. And yeah. then, <laughs> oh, that's the what it looks half, like. Yeah. he mitigates it with science. And he gives us hope <laughs> that we can live through these things and be hopeful and get to the next 50 years of this planet. Is there a particular disaster scenario that you're especially excited for the audience to see? Uh, I like the hydro we'll see. storm. Oh, the hydro storm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, you're hydro. <laughs> So you may not, you've probably heard of Katrina, the hurricane. So that was category five. But there are category six hurricanes that occur so far only on the open ocean. But what if they came ashore and so on and so on. And then the other one near and dear to me, you know, uh, is an asteroid impact. So we don't, and this, we don't have an asteroid of a comet, but the same thing, the nucleus of a comet. And, uh, we have a cool way to address that problem that I've always liked, a physics thing. So watch that show. Well, definitely. In fact, speaking about disasters and disaster plans, um, I just was curious how involved your own emergency plans are in your own household. Well, I mean, so I'll just tell everybody, we're in California. Carry shoes to walk home in in your car. We spend, in California, for example, we spend so much time in cars that it's very reasonable that there'll be an earthquake and the bridge will be collapsed and you gotta walk home. So that's for example. And water and granola bars, deck of cards, and of course a couple of flying discs, frisbees, so that we can- <laughs> So you can uh, keep yourself so occupied. So we can play while the, the, while the, crane, while the crane is brought in to put, move the cement slab. And you know, in earthquakes, which is a real thing, if you have even 10 seconds of warning, it makes a huge difference. Uh, if you're home at, at a house, at your house or in an office, and you get 10 seconds, you can get outside. Uh, earthquakes don't kill people, buildings kill people, is the old saying. For example, in that one example, well, yeah, for sure. I mean, I grew up in Los Angeles. I was born in Los Angeles. I've been through quite a few earthquakes. We live with them. We, you know, are sort of, our hearts flutter when it happens and we're fine afterwards. Of course we are. But we all think about, I think if you grew up here, you think about have it being prepared. So everything that Bill said, I'm not saying I have. <laughs> I don't have the Frisbee. That's weird. And I, <laughs> but I have the yeah. shoes in the water. <laughs> shoes in the water. Yeah. Well, one last question. Um, well, keep shoes by your bed too. So uh, stuff falls out of the cabinets. There's broken glass all over the floor. It happens at four in the morning. You got to get from your, you got to get somewhere in the house. If you can't get to shoes, you can walk on the broken glass with. It's dangerous. <laughs> Go Done. Ahead. I will have shoes by my bed now. Thank you. Um, my last question. Um, I, your previous remarks about the show included the words, science can change the world. That's right. And I was just wondering if your sense of optimism is fueled by science or is your philosophies about science fueled by your optimism? Whoa. Like, whoa. <laughs> so here's the premise of the bit in science. This is the, the idea in science, is that nature, the universe, is knowable, that we can understand it, we can figure it out, and we get to a point where we don't know what it is, quantum mechanics or dark energy or whatever it is, we believe in science that we will be able to figure it out. And if it turns out there really is something you can't figure out, that'll be surprising, because so far over the last 20 centuries or whatever it's been, we keep learning more and more about the universe. And so, we can anticipate these disasters 
and we can think about what to do about them with science, with uh, understanding the phenomena and addressing them. Well, thank you both so very much. Congratulations on your new show. Thank you. Turn it up thank loud, you. August 25th. Yeah, come see us, August 25th. Binge it, binge it good. Binge thank it well.